In this video walkthrough, I will share common ways you might use the Read Digital Collections. I will cover logging into the website, searching a collection, and using the My Workspace tool to create, organize, and share content from Read Digital Collections. You can visit the Read Digital Collections by going to rdc.read.edu or by clicking on Read Digital Collections from the Read College Library homepage. This is the RDC homepage. I am not currently logged into my account. The most commonly used collections are at the top of the page under Featured Collections. All collections are listed below. Collections with the lock icon require a login. If I click on a collection that is locked, I will be prompted to log in with my Kerberos information. I can also click on Login in the upper right corner of the screen. Even if I am looking at an unlocked collection, such as the Reed College Archives, logging in allows me to access my workspace where I will be able to organize and display content from the collections into galleries. Using the Reed College Archives as an example, I am going to search for items and use those items to build my own gallery in my workspace. The search box in the upper left is set up for keyword searching. If I click on Advanced, I can limit the search to the fields below. Below the search box, I can use facets to refine search results. If I want to just see posters from the performing arts, I would select the poster genre and the performing arts subject. I've updated my screen with some images that I might want to share in a gallery, and I'm going to use my workspace to organize them. Clicking on my name opens up a drop-down menu, and I select My Workspace. Here, I see a list of galleries I've already created. I create a new gallery by clicking on the New Gallery button and type in a gallery name. I've already created a gallery called Tutorial Gallery, but maybe I want to place that already created gallery in a folder. I'll make a new gallery called Nesting Example. If I hover over the four-way arrow next to Tutorial Gallery, I can click, hold, and drag it into Nesting Example. This can be helpful if I'm trying to organize multiple galleries for different classes. Now, I go back to the Reed College Archives page, and I'm going to refresh the page so my newly created gallery will show up in the My Workspace drop-down list. When I select Tutorial Gallery, the text updates to let me know what gallery I currently have active. From this same dropdown, I can add all results to my gallery. If I only need one or two images, I'll hover over and select the star in the upper left corner. When I click it, it turns green and it lets me know that it's been added to my gallery. Once I've selected all the images I want, it's time to go back to my workspace page. I'm going to reload the page to update my gallery, which I already put some images in. Now that I have items, I have some options. I can reorder the images, duplicate them, and delete them. To reorder my images, I hover over the image I want to move and click, hold, and drag it to the place I need it to be. If I want to duplicate an image, I hover over that image and in its upper right corner, I select the duplicate button. If I want to delete an image, I will hover over the image and click on the box in the upper left corner. Then I will go to this dropdown called Item Actions and I will remove the image from my gallery. Once I have my gallery organized the way I like, I can play a slideshow or create a link to my gallery that I can share, perhaps in an email with my students or on a syllabus. To view my slideshow, I click on the play button and the slideshow interface loads. I can zoom in on my images or click through using the buttons in the bottom right or using the arrow keys on my keyboard. If I would like to compare two images, I click the split view button and then I can page through either set of images. When I want to return to my workspace, I hit the Back to My Workspace button down below. 
To share a link to my gallery, I click the link button up above. A pop-up appears with the direct link to my gallery. I can copy and paste it from here, or if I hit OK, the gallery opens up in a new tab. This is Lightbox mode. When I send this unique URL to my students, this is the view they will see. They can click on the play button down below to view the slideshow or click directly on the image that they would like to see larger. I hope this video tutorial has been helpful. If you have any questions about the Read Digital Collections, please send an email to rdc at groups.read.edu.